Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of the sales team here at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom and I'd like to take you around our now Tora 500 MQ van. Um, it's the van station range, it's on the VW, 6.1, 2 litre and this particular one is a 150 brake horsepower automatic. It's a really smart van, smart in colour, small in size so it's easy to park and easy to get around but it is a TARDIS. So firstly, we'll take a look around the outer of the vehicle. So as you can see to the front, it's got the fog lights there. It's a 2024 van, um, so when you get it, it'll have that new plate on it. It's got the VW alloy wheel, so it's a nice smooth ride. We've got the nice long arm wing mirrors, so you can see good behind you. It has the step. As we go down the side here, we can see we've got the storage for the gas bottle. As we look up, we've got the canopy. So that can wind out to give you a sun shelter and also you can actually put a drive away awning into it as well. So again, with a versatile little van like this, get out and about and see what's around. Our shop team will help you with drive away awnings. Inside here, you can see you've got great garage space. You can fit a push bike in here. You can fit your chairs and your barbecue in here. You could even fit dog cage in there, not that you'd want to travel with your dog in the back, but it's always versatile storage. Fishing gear, golf clubs, you name it, it can all go in there. This handle here is the handle to wind the canopy out and as you can see at the, here at the bottom there's anchorage points that move so you can anchor all your bits and pieces down in here so things don't rattle around. As we go to the back you'll see that the back of this vehicle is really really stylish and smart. It's got a reversing camera as well. As we come down the side we can take a look at the garage from a different angle. The garage of course with lights in it. As we move down the vehicle you can see where the toilet chemical is stored. Toilet chemical, toilet cassette even. And in here are your utilities. So the mains you would connect and bring through here so the cable doesn't hang out the door like it is at the moment. And you've got the water fill point as well. So as you can see, standing back, we've got a really nice short vehicle. So we're going to take a look, oh, and on the roof, sorry. On the roof, we've got the Oyster satellite system. So we'll take a closer look inside in part two. So here we are where everything happens inside the Naus MQ500 Tora. So I thought we'd take a look at the front and look at some of the features that we've got here. So as we can see, it's the automatic gearbox. We've got the cab aircon and both the driver's seat and the passenger seat, they're both heated. We've got the head unit here where you can connect your phone for maps and things. The steering wheel, we've got speed restriction. We've also got all the controls that you'd expect for turning the phone volume up and down, phone on and off, and obviously you're restricting your speed. We've got the mirrors here, which are heated mirrors as well. So not only have you got a heated seat, you've also got heated mirrors. So we'll go and take a closer look further down the 500. So this seat in here is lowered down, so it's in a lower seating area. We've got a capacity to take two passengers as well. So we could have the driver and passenger here and two additional passengers to the back. Now officially, this sleeps two. However, the table does drop down um, and I have made it into a bed and laid on it myself just using this cushion so if you were clever enough you could probably get yourself some foam and be able to sleep another person you won't want to sleep for long but it's an excuse to get away and have a holiday so as you can see we've got the driver plus three passengers one here and two there now the table has a leg extension on it now we sell this as just sleeping two traveling four and sleeping too. Earlier I was having a play and I've dropped the table down to the lower level, took the lead support out and using this you've actually got a bit of a bed going on. So if you're clever enough and you can do something with some foam I'd get a rolling out mattress so you can actually be more accommodating. 
In here you'll see as well, we've got the 27 inch TV. It's the Oyster TV, which complements the satellite system. We have storage here and storage here and more storage above. I'm a little bit short. Um, that's the downside. It's great having a footwell, um, but when you're a little bit short, you can't quite reach. <laughs> At the front here and also here, you've got opening skylights as well. So you've got plenty of ventilation coming in. Now beneath this seat, just move this out of the way. You can see under here are your utilities. So you've got your leisure battery here, fuse boxes, consumer units, and also you can see the water tank that we saw from the outside. So everything is very easily accessible. Put that cushion back and we'll move on into the kitchen. So Wendy's gonna to go towards the bed and here we can see that we've got the fridge. So it's a good size fridge with the freezer compartment We've got plenty of kitchen work surface space. <laughs> We've got the two ring gas and also a handy little sink and light controls here. And how many plug sockets? We've got one here and two there. Above, again, we've got a storage and a great size bed. In here, we've got the washroom and we'll come to part two to show you how the washroom morphs into a proper wet room. With the bed, we have a quirky little step that comes out like so, which means you can climb onto the bed really easily. And the bed is a nice deep foam. Beneath the bed, you will see we've got wardrobe space. Let me move out of the way mm -hmm. and Wendy will take you and show you around the wardrobe. So there's hanging in there and there's also shelves as well. Super. This does come with the carpets, um, but we've taken the carpets out for now um, with customers coming in. To the back of the bed, you've got three big storage cupboards. You've got um, two reading lights and again, you can operate the lights from the switch that's in the mid of the bed. You've got a 12 volt, sorry, a USB socket and also a main socket in there. And a skylight as well for additional ventilation with fly screen and blind. So we'll come back to part three and show you the shower. See you shortly. So as, as if by magic, we've got a full shower. Wendy will just show you around the side here so yeah. you can see where the space comes from. So as you go into the bed and look to the right, yeah. you'll see that that is where the shower comes out of. It's a complete sealed unit, um, which enables you this great space. All we have to do is use this lever here and the shower pulls up. You've got a full shower screen as well. So you're not going to wet your other utilities. This also, for ease of using the toilet, slides in. So the vanity sink goes in and out so that you can easily use your loo. Here is the cupboard for all your bits and pieces. So if you're looking for an easy park camper that's got all the garage space you could possibly need, plus bathroom facilities on board, which is well under six metres, you need to come over to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom and take a cl closer look at these. They are absolutely amazing and we're selling them at a fantastic price. So I look forward to seeing you here. Like I say, my name is Claire. I'll happily show you around this motorhome, albeit we might have to be in, in twos because I think if we get four or five in here, we would be struggling for space. So I look forward to seeing you on site to take a closer look at this super little TARDIS.